Yo, I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video. Join the free Discord. It is linked down below. Join it right now. It is free. Other than that, enjoy the Power of 3 video. It is actually very good. So, other than that, bye. Yo, what is good, YouTube? We are back with another video. Today, we're going to be going over the Power of 3, Accumulation, Manipulation, and Distribution. We're going to be going over how to identify the daily Power of 3 and smaller time frame Power of 3s so you can understand when and when not to take a trade because you don't want to be stuck in the accumulation phase you can trade the manipulation phase but you want to be a part of the distribution whenever we actually get that expansion higher so right here we have this rough depiction of accumulation manipulation power of three <clears throat> you want to identify an original consolidation so in this we have a consolidation right here we're stuck in this tight range we're not going anywhere but right here what are we doing on this leg lower we're creating a manipulation why is this manipulation well what do we have down here and what do we have up here we have sell stops and we have buy stops so we want to see are we going to manipulate above buy side into a higher time frame PD array or manipulate under sell side and take sell stops in a higher time frame PD array. So let's say we manipulate below these sell stops into, let's say, a higher time frame fair value gap. So we're manipulating after we have accumulated orders, we stop out all the sell stops, trap all the breakout traders, and we come into a higher time frame fair value gap. We get displacement back inside the range tap a fair value gap if you don't want to take an entry fine the best entry you can get is let's say this actually came above these highs right here this second leg down into this top and an imbalance right here would be the best entry this is your low risk buy let's say we had a fair value gap that displaced above this consolidation what does this turn into this high right here this turns into your breaker so we have a breaker fair value gap and now we are in the distribution phase so we have accumulation manipulation and then we go into our distribution to the draw on liquidity right right here is the power of three so we're gonna go over these two days inside of the daily power of three so we have asia we have london and we have new york if we are going to be playing the daily power of three, what do we want to see? Well, we need to mark out the midnight opening price, which is right here, 654, right here. So we have midnight opening price. What do we want to see at that midnight opening price? We want to see London session trade above or below in a higher time frame PD array. Why? Because that is giving us our daily power of three. London session makes low or high of the day, and then New York distributes higher, right? So what does London manipulate lower to? This fair value gap. Why is this fair value gap so important? Why this one? Why not this one? Why not this one? Well, from New York session, from this low to uh, New York close, we have discount lying right here. We have sell stops lying right here. That's why this fair value gap is very important. London session makes low of day inside that fair value gap. New York should be a continuation higher after London reverses. What do we see here? This order block holds us all day until, yes, this is really bad price action, but you can see this order block holds us until New York wants to distribute. And we do not quite get to this high but you can see the daily power of three what does it look like Asia accumulates so it's gonna look like this we have an open a low a high and a close right right here open midnight open we create low London session makes the low we create the high New York makes the high and then New York closes out right there daily power of three moving on to the next day right here what do we see London session makes low of day and reverses this is whenever like we're gonna take this as an example why did we not come down to a discount of New York session 
which was down here. This is whenever you do not need to, right? Let's take a look right here. London takes this low, but displaces through it. London takes this low and immediately reverses. So we have a turtle soup. That is whenever you don't need to come to a discount. If we have a turtle soup and we immediately reverse, like right here, we take those sell stops of Asia, we have a PDE array, we have this order block, we bounce, reverse. This is whenever you don't need to come down into a discount. So London session trades into this fair value gap once again. And what do we see that just played off of from over here? This order block gives us that tap and a huge continuation higher. So this is whenever I wouldn't be looking at this on the five or one minute chart. The 15 minute gives you clear direction of a daily power of three. Oh yeah, once again, what do you want to mark out? That midnight opening price. Did London session manipulate under midnight into a PD array? Yes, sell stops. So once again, it's gonna look like this. We have our open, our low, and this was a classic buy day, and then our close. Right, ooh, what did I just do? Right here, open, low, open, low, London session makes low of day, and then high all the way up here oops <laughs> and then close New York will close pretty much at the high of day and as you see we do right right there's close so that's the daily power of three midnight opening price you want to see London session manipulate Asia yes if we have a large Asia range and it manipulated into like a PD array then London session can reverse immediately and New York can just be a continuation. But a majority of the time you wanna see that midnight opening price accumulate, London manipulates, and then we get a reversal, New York should be a continuation. So now that we have that, we're gonna go over a five minute power of three. We can go over this example here, this right here, right? So what do we see right here? We see an accumulation phase right there. This is whenever you're going to be using lower time frame. So let's go to the hourly chart and see. Do we create an SMT there? Yes, we do. So we create an SMT. That's our higher time frame PD array. An SMT. Five minute, we create that SMT. We have a consolidation right here. Would be our manipulation under what? sell stops these are relatively equal lows and 7 a.m candle just opened right here 7 a.m new hourly candle boom manipulate 6 a.m opens right here a new four hour candle 6 a.m accumulates manipulates lower uh, uh displacement back inside the range right here and what did i say earlier you don't need to take this low risk entry the best entry and expansions will come from that second leg right here fair value gap what does it make this right here a breaker this is now a breaker why isn't it a breaker right here there's no closure above it so now we close above it we now have a breaker fair value gap paired together and then we get that move higher right that is the best entry that's why you see a quick and uh, an explosive move higher what else do we have in this area a beautiful order block snuggled right in the middle of both of them why is this an order block we take sell stops this is the last down close candle right here inside of this pd array that took sell stops right it would be this candle but we never take this low so this is the high probability order block then we go higher right here what do we see here well we're consolidating you also could call all of this consolidation, but we're on the five minutes. So why would this be an eye opening power of three and this be your chance to get in? I'll tell you right here would be our manipulation. Consolidate, manipulate. Why is this manipulation? Well, we have a 12 o'clock candle right here. So we're going to be using three candles, three one hour candles here, 10. Right here is the 10 a.m. low, 10 a.m. low, sell side, 10 a.m. high. So we are stuck in a range, oops, 
stuck in a range on the 10, 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. candle, right? The 11 a.m. right here opens up. 11 a.m. closes right here and 12 a.m. opens up. This is why it's a great power of three. We create that SMT right here. You can see ES is low, is all the way up here. This is the New York chance to get in. So we create that SMT. We are using a three candle pattern. Three candles, 10, 11, and 12. Lunch gives you the best entry. So right here, SMT, consolidate, manipulate. 11 a.m. creates that low. 12 is the distribution. So 10, accumulate. 11, manipulate. 12, distribute. So where's your low risk entry? This, this little fair value gap, right? We have a change in the state of delivery. We have a market structure shift at the closure of this high. So if you don't want to get in here, don't. You don't need to. Where's that second entry? Right there. Right here. Unfortunately, I mean, this could be your breaker, but it's not really paired with the fair value gap. I mean, you could. Why is this the breaker? Because this is the high that created the low. I'll just drag it out. This would be the breaker. I guess it's actually perfectly paired up with that. But we have a order block. So we have an order block. We can measure out mean threshold of that, and I'm sure it lies right inside that. Yeah, you can see we tap mean threshold to the tick. Then we get the distribution to these smooth highs up here. Boom, smooth highs, we run those highs. Right there was two examples of using the power of three. Yes, this is getting messy, but you guys can see. All you need is three one hour candles. What are the three right here? 6 a.m. accumulates. As soon as 7 a.m. opens, we manipulate. 8 a.m. opens up right here. Then we get our distribution, yeah. 8 into 9 a.m., that's fine. You are you have an extra candle on your side. 10, accumulates. 11, starts the manipulation, boom. 12, is that distribution higher? Three candles on the hourly chart with a five minute market, uh, with a five minute power of three, that's all you need. So, let's go into this one. Last example. Right here, what do we have? A tight range, equal lows. We just took buy side, so this is gonna be a double purge example. Buy side. We have a new 15 minute candle opening up right here. 10.30, boom. Let's mark out 10.45. Oops, 10.45, 11. Boom. And we're gonna to have to mark out 11.15. So right here. Let's change these colors to purple. I don't like them dark. Red, I love red 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 so what do we see in these little quadrants well we have engineered buy side how did we engineer buy side we took a high we create a swing high we create a swing high we create a swing oh wait that's after we take sell side so these 15 minute candles 1030 accumulate 1045 still is accumulating so this is gonna be even better whenever we manipulate so we have two 15 minute candles accumulating what does that 10 or 11 a.m. candle do manipulates right here double purge we purge buy stops come down purge sell stops right here fair value gap and what do you notice bodies hold wicks through the damage bodies tell the story we actually have a BPR so BPR right there is there a second entry no there's actually not uh, only other entry I see would be right before we hit that buy side treat volume imbalances in a market maker model as fair value gaps so right there yes it isn't the most points right I mean if you enter on the BPR with a stop right here I mean, it's eight points, a tick above 8.25, but it's still a one to point one, sorry, a 2.75 R. That's beautiful, right? And right there, as you see, let's zoom out actually, because now I want to see what this looks like 
on the five minute. I actually have not looked at it on the five minute. Yeah. Now look at this. Let's go to the hourly. Okay, we actually don't. Well, we tap this break. It's yeah, it's a breaker. Tap the breaker, but I don't really like using these as a higher time frame PD array, but it is considered. So now on that one minute example, we zoom out to the five minute. Actually, we can use this. What do we see on the five minute? We're accumulating. We're accumulating right here. See, we're just using models on models on models. It just keeps going on and on and on. So we're going to say 11. Yep. So 10 a.m. opens up right here. 10 a.m. 11. 12. Right here. What do we have here? Accumulate. Manipulate into what? Fair value gap. Boom. Accumulate. We also have a double purge. Now that double purge on the one minute becomes an opposite double purge on the five minute. Why? Equal lows, purged, right? Swing high. Purged. Now, this is why, okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. This is why it happens so quick, right? You saw on the one minute example that we took those sell stops, we pulled back into this for this BPR, and then we immediately get distribution. That's because we had a double purge, right? Because we took buy stops, we took sell stops, it's now a low resistance liquidity run to this high, right? That's why we immediately go. Five minutes, same exact thing. We took sell stops, we took buy stops, and it's immediately distributing to the previous low. That's why the entries are harder to get. But if we go to the one minute, right? here you have your change in the state of delivery so you have an order block why is this the change in the state of delivery well, these are the, the the whoa sorry didn't mean to stutter i was trying to, i was overstepping my words these are the last up close candles before taking highs we close below it right here fair value gap see this in hindsight right you guys are like wow this is really easy to read this is why you need need to be practicing practicing this in live markets because if you can zoom in like this and say hey power of three right here we just took sell stops we took buy stops right here this bpr should hold why don't we hold any of these well that has something to do with premium and discount right this one lies in discount but not the whole thing does if it was right there then it would be then i'd be more interested in taking longs there but this is the one that uh is in real discount this bpr boom distribute okay now what well let's zoom out to the five minute well now this just looks like a power of three to the downside on the five minute okay well we just entered this for a value gap we just took buy stops we just took sell stops this should be a low resistance liquidity run to this low this for a value gap should just get ran through i guess that could be your entry right here we come into it this should just get ran through we have a change in the state of delivery right here okay let's go. let's see one minute Okay, fair value gap, change in the state of delivery. I'm not confident in taking a short here. Okay, well, you can take it right here. Oh, okay, hey. Inverse this, we can take it right here. Bodies hold. Okay, well, sell stops are right here. This will be your only entry before we hit those sell stops. Yeah, we do continue lower, but you're not taking anything after we hit those sell side, that sell side, right? I actually really this was actually really fun to make because I didn't even realize there was a five minute example right all you need is three one hour candles for the five minute chart all you need is three 15 minute candles sometimes four right sometimes you have a longer accumulation phase right it is what it is but the more and longer those accumulation phases are the bigger the expansion right yeah this one didn't expand too far but we took buy side and then you zoom out and you're like, oh my gosh, it's just a power of three on the five minute. We have a new hourly candle opening here. This 11 a.m. just manipulated into a fair value gap. Let's see, did we come into a premium? Maybe we did. No, not from that swing high, but this swing high we did. But what? Oh. What did I say when we don't need to come into a premium? Turtle soup. Right there. 
I wonder if NQ actually didn't take that high because that would be probably did. Yeah, it did. But anyways, right there. You guys saw two examples just in this little piece of price action that looks like chop, right? It looks like chop. It doesn't look like we're doing anything. But whenever you start to decipher price action and see it for what it is, you will see, oh, well, this is what we're doing. So I'm going to do this. And when we hit this level, I'm going to reverse my position to go back down lower because the higher time frame is still telling me we need to go lower. And then 1 a.m. opens up. Wait, 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 wait. 15 minute. Okay, the 15 minutes not really doing anything. Never mind. Sorry. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Join the free Discord. Other than that, I'm out. Peace.